Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Galatians 5, verse 7. He did run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. I have confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. And here we see in Galatians 5, again, uh, Paul's addressing the Judaizers, uh, where they were saying that circumcision was necessary for salvation. And uh, we think, boy, that happened so long ago. That has nothing to do with us. But if we keep it in context, it really does, because there's a lot of churches teaching today. Uh, it's salvation plus works. It's Jesus Christ uh, plus you've got to confess all your sins, or plus you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to be baptized, this, that, the other. It's Jesus Christ plus and minus nothing. And that's what the Apostle Paul was trying to say. He said, you were running well. Who did hinder you? So often in over 30 years of uh, being in the ministry and uh, church work, I've seen people doing so well and just going uh, great guns for the Lord, and all of a sudden uh, they get hanging around a negative nabob, uh, somebody that's negative about the church or negative about the program, negative about everything in life, and boy, they're just, uh, 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 they adopt that Eeyore mentality, and then nothing's right, and everything's wrong. Now, listen to me as a pastor. I understand people get hurt. And I understand good people sometimes will uh, hurt you and uh, boy, sometimes will allow that to hinder us, trip us up, cause us to stumble. Keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus. Don't put a man on a pedestal. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Uh, let me just help you this morning by saying this, a little negativity will lead to a lot of negativity. A little bitterness will lead to a lot of bitterness. A little anger will lead to a lot of anger. Just a little bit of leaven to leaven the whole lump. Now, I understand it's talking about doctrinal impurity here, but I'm talking about practical impurity in each one of our lives. First of all, we need to make sure that we're doctrinally pure. How do we do that? Stay in the Word. It's the Word of God. I find the Bible is the best commentary on the Bible. Stop reading all these other men who have uh, gone off the rails and at one time they were going great guns for God. Now they've stumbled and boy, we follow them right into their stumbling because we put such a uh, precedence on their teaching. We don't follow people and we don't follow institutions. We follow biblical principles. And so we want to do that not only principally, uh, but also practically, you did run well. Uh, be careful you keep your eyes. Uh, I was running the track the other day. I run, uh, try to run two and a half to three miles, three days a week. I was running the track the other day and a, a little kid's first grade class came out. Boy, this little boy went speeding past me and he kept looking back and smirking at me because he had passed the old man on the track and Boy, he thought he was going great guns, but he looked back one too many times and boom, head over heels, sprawled out all over the track. And and uh, 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 can I tell you, I've seen that happen spiritually to way too many Christians. Let's make sure that principally we run well, that the leaven doesn't leaven our lump. Practically, we don't do that, but personally, Boy, when you get hurt, when things happen like that, even Jesus, when John the Baptist's disciples, uh, John was uh, uh, beheaded, and uh, John the Baptist uh, disciples came to Jesus. You know what Jesus did? He said, let's come apart into the desert place for a while. When you're hurting, don't get on Facebook and woe is me and everybody feels sorry for me. Get alone with the Lord for a little while. Read the book of Psalms. I find the book of Psalms so comforting when I'm hurting. Uh, if you've ever run and, and tripped and, boy, just really banged yourself up, you need to take a few moments and do some first aid. Well, can I tell you personally, we need to do some biblical first aid. 
I want to be a help and a blessing. You did run well. Let's run well. Let's not let a little leaven leaven the whole lump. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.